Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creating Essence. I am Megan, thanks so much for stopping by today. I am participating in a really fun back to school collaboration. This is organized by Rachel at Day to Day Joyce. I will link her channel below as well as the playlist of all the other wonderful mamas who are participating in this collaboration. If you are a YouTuber or a blogger and you are interested in participating in this collaboration, check out Rachel's channel and her Instagram channel. She puts everything out there so any homeschooler is not excluded and anyone who wants to participate can get all the information they need there. Today's collaboration is back to school favorites. I have a variety of ages in my family. I have five kiddos. My oldest is in seventh grade and my youngest will be in preschool next year. So he's still just in the toddler stage. I have found though that there are a lot of staples and things that are absolute must-haves for me all across the board for all ages. The first is my planner. I am a happy planner addict. I love my happy planners. Uh, this particular one I did an unboxing for. I will link that in the info box below if you're interested. This really keeps me on track. I don't do my lesson planning in here, but I do keep our commitments. I do my meal planning, all sorts of things like that. So I can do my lesson planning in our student planners and still keep track of everything as far as library days, fun Friday projects, even my YouTube filming schedule, any meal trains we have going on, play dates or meetups with other families, everything I can keep track of right here and it really helps me to stay organized. My second must have is Educating the Wholehearted Child by Clay and Sally Clarkson. Now this is a wonderful book that is a wealth of knowledge about just creating an awesome learning environment and connecting with your kids as well as being their teacher. I found mine on eBay for a great discount even though it looks brand new, but I'll put a link to where it's available on Amazon in the info box below as well if you're interested. My third must have is my pencil sharpener. I know plenty of people who just love the old fashioned crank things, but this exacto pencil sharpener cost me about $20. It is a beast and it has been getting abuse for about three years now. It was worth every penny and oh gosh, I do not miss the days of trying to find a pencil sharpener somewhere, of people messing with things, jamming crayons and things. I mean, they still jam crayons in it, but it is crazy easy to get unjammed. And it's just so much easier when there are tinies who want to sharpen things. They don't need help cranking. They don't need help twisting. They just put it in there and it sharpens perfectly. It's automatically stops sharpening when uh, it's come to a point, which is more than I can say for any other sharpener that I've ever used, no matter the style. This is definitely a favorite and a must have birth through 12th grade for us. Another must have for us, clipboards. As you can see, well loved, it's got marker on it. Now these are just plain brown wood clipboards. I bought these really inexpensively in a multi-pack on Amazon several years ago and they have been invaluable. My two-year-old uses them, my seventh grader uses them, even I use them. They're just really handy, they're pretty thin, but they're not flimsy. I cannot tell you how many times these things have been walked on and sat on and jumped on and they have not broken. They were really affordable too. We use these uh, when we are outside on nature walks. We use them when we are on the living room floor doing schoolwork and kids want a hard surface. We use them when we have to take schoolwork in the car. There really are just so many ways that we use these and they were crazy affordable. Another more generic item is a multi-pack I got on Amazon of two-in plain white binders. They have sleeves on the front and back. This particular one, this year we're using for the story of the world. This is just a copy of the front page of our book that I printed off and put in there. My kids also have their student planners in these. Um, again, I bought this multi-pack three years ago and they are still going strong. There are no cracks. There are pockets on the inside. They have held up really well. We use them for student planners. We use them for subjects, for keeping a portfolio of things. 
I use these for my own record keeping for homeschooling each year. It's really an incredibly multi-purpose thing for all grades that I really love and is affordable. I'll put a link to the uh, multi-pack that I purchased however many years ago in the info box below if I can still find it. I'm sure it's there. I don't know if it's the same price. The next favorite, these. Papermate Flare, medium tip, in the candy pop. I received a much smaller pack of these in a gift box from a friend and I am totally like I said I'm a planner girl and I was so excited I have never I had never tried these before but they quickly became a favorite if you know planners you know sometimes the felt tip pens can bleed through paper especially on planners and things and then the the next week is harder to read because stuff is bled through or things can be too light and you can't see them as well. These have neither problem and they're awesome colors. So when I found this pack on a lightning deal on Amazon last week, I grabbed them. This 24 pack was $14 which is really really good. But these are just fun. My kids love when I write their stuff in colors. They love it when I correct their stuff in colors. And I really like to do my own stuff in colors. So it's definitely a novelty thing, but these are a lot of fun. They're great quality. And for me, it's a favorite. Another thing that I consider a must have for us is a great set of acrylic painting supplies. Now these are really inexpensive, but we paint rocks, peg dolls, poster boards. We can do so many things with these very inexpensive supplies and just having a little stash of them goes a long, long way. I'll show you some of what's in here. We have tacky glue, always good for crafty stuff. We have a ton of colors of these Apple Barrel acrylic paints. I bought a huge pack, way bigger than this, this is just some of them, of craft brushes. All different sizes and styles in a multi-pack on Amazon. It came with some sponges too. I'll link it in the info box below in case you're interested. You could probably find it cheaper up at your local at your local Walmart or craft store, but that's what I grabbed. And they're super easy to just rinse out. The kids can abuse them and I don't feel terrible if I have to throw one out because it gets really gunked up. We also have a set of these Artico oil-based paint pens. Lots of different colors and we find these go great with the acrylic painting things when we want to write something or do a finer detail, especially with my bigger kids. These are important because they're starting to care more than just the willy-nilly creative abstract kind of art. They like to do some details and these are pretty affordable and last a really long time. The Posca pens are really popular and these are a more affordable version of that. And then I have Mod Podge Clear Acrylic Sealer. This works on pretty much anything that you paint with the acrylic paints. You just give it a spritz of this and it seals it in so your paint's not bleeding, it's not washing off and whatever art your kids did will stay. And then we have this basket. <laughs> this one is a little more involved. In here we have a lot of supplies for doing more handiwork sort of things. We have a whole bunch of bundles of wool felt from a child's dream. We have a bunch of sizes of wooden peg dolls. We even have some of these dolls that you end up building out into dolls with movable arms. You glue felt on for clothing. You can paint them, all sorts of things. We have a bunch of embroidery floss, large tapestry needles, and little safety scissors. If your family isn't big on the handicraft scene, that may not be particularly useful for, for you, but for us, those things are really, really inexpensive to buy in bulk and to have on hand for accompanying all sorts of lesson themes and just something fun and creative to do. Now, my oldest son did not think painting and making clothes for a peg doll sounded fun at all. But let me tell you, when I uh, made him sit down and make a peg doll and use the felt and some wool to hand stitch a bird with a little pocket in it for his guy to ride in, his imagination went wild. He ended up making a really neat golden eagle and a Radagast the Brown from The Hobbit to ride in it. I will post a picture here of his super awesome little Radagast that he made.
So there are a lot of things that you can do with all of these supplies. And I think versatility is the name of the game for us. We go for affordable, we go for versatile, and then there's some fun and practical too. Let me know what your favorites are coming into this school year. I would love to hear if you have tried any of these things, if you have a favorite brand of any of them in particular, and even if you've tried any of them and not like them, if they didn't work for your family. I love hearing honest feedback of all kinds. Let me know what your back to school favorites are. And like I said, if you're a YouTuber or a blogger, you are welcome to participate. Check out that playlist below and Rachel at Day to Day Joy's Instagram for all of the information. Thanks so much for sticking around today, friends. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye-bye.